A KRK4 News update for you. New tonight, Pine Bluff police are looking for the person who shot and killed a man over the week. The man was a father of two, has several grandkids, brothers and sisters, and is loved by the community. Tonight, his family is speaking for the first time. Alexis Wainwright is in Pine Bluff right now with more on what the family is saying tonight. Alexis? Well, Bob, the family is very close with each other. In fact, they have karaoke nights once a week, and now they feel like a part of them is missing. Tonight, the family tells me they just want to know what happened. Justice for Willie Morgan, a.k.a. June. That's what we call him. You can hear the amount of love Willie Morgan's family has for him. Heaven opened his gates for you. For, one, for a real one. The 53 year old was found shot to death in a home on South Cherry Street in Pine Bluff on Friday the 13th. We in the dark. He's going to be buried Saturday with us not knowing anything. So, and, and that's, and that hurts. Pine Bluff police say a poster worker saw Morgan lying on the ground inside of the front door. Morgan's family says he was renting the house from a longtime friend who has now put the house up for sale. Monday, his sister Maria Tripp tells me her brother was a spiritual man who didn't bother anybody. We just don't want it to go in vain because he wasn't that type of person. He was loved by a lot of people and he wasn't out there in the street. <laughs> Laughter began as his loved ones talked about who Morgan was. He loved his family. He he was a loving person. He, I mean, he, he the joke of the family. Right. Mm -hmm. Life of the park. Life of the park. The family says they've heard a lot of people talking around town about what they saw, and now they're asking for anyone with the slightest bit of information to come forward. Your father, your son, you will want justice for your We just want the same thing. It's a nosy neighbor in every neighborhood. True. So if you know anything, you don't. Have, you can inbox me. No matter what, the family says they'll continue to look for answers because Morgan would have done the same for them. They took an innocent person. Right. right. And we want justice, and we want Pine Bluff Police Department to give us some answers. We know that it's an open investigation, and that they can't tell us a whole lot, but tell us something. And tonight, Pine Bluff police tell me there are no updates in this case, but they're asking anyone with information to come forward to them. You can also remain anonymous. Reporting live tonight in Pine Bluff, Alexis Wainwright, KRK 4 News.